Good morning, ladies, and welcome to the Limited Edition Leadership Academy. Coming to you live from my studio. Well, actually, it's really my kitchen, so happy days. Um, all right, so today um, I would like to welcome you to our first um, session and we're going to talk about five tips to maintain control during these times of chaos. Am I right? Okay, so have you ever had the dream of the school burning down and thinking how cool would it be to, to not have to go to school? Well, our schools haven't burned down. However, um, we are in lockdown. So the reality, well, is a little different to what our, um, I guess, our dreams used to be, right? Um, yeah, our schedules are disrupted. We're thrown out of whack. We don't know which way is up. Um, you know, some of us might be feeling a bit a bit stressed at the moment, especially those that are in year 12 um, or this their final years of school. Um, you know, we're heading towards the end of term one and wondering, you know, what's going to happen next, right? So, unfortunately, all of this stuff that's going on is out of our control. But I, the good news is there are things that we can still do to maintain control, um, which will allow us to stay focused, organised, disciplined, and, you know, so we can keep going with our studies and so we can still create academic success, whatever that looks like to you in your world, um, effectively, while the world is currently under attack. I mean, how cool would that be, is to, to be able to still be in control of your own life? That's what I love. That's what I want to do. So in order for you to con con maintain control, I'd like to start off with some five tips to get you going and get you thinking for today. So for if you haven't done so already, tip number one, you need to maintain control by maintaining your daily routine, your daily rituals. What does that look like? Well, um, examples is start with getting out of bed the same time every morning that you would normally do before you go to school. Um, you know, go to bed at the same time every day that you would normally do when you go to school. Um, keep the routine normal flow because in that way your body clock continues to churn over um, and you're getting in control. So it allows you to be tired when you need to be tired to go to bed and when you need to wake up in the morning. Um, this will also um, improve your immune system and minimize any chances of you getting sick, which is not which is what we don't want to happen. Um, any changes on your on your daily routines will have some psychological and physiological impact. So we want to minimize that as much as possible. And we need to trick your body and your mind into thinking that it is business as usual. Yeah? So number one, stick to your routine as much as possible. Okay, tip number two. You may not like this, but I suggest and recommend that you wear your school uniform during school hours. So pretend it's like as if you are going to school, but you're still at home. So get up, shower, get dressed, have your breakfast, put on your uniform, do your hair and sit in front of the computer like as if you're ready for class. So that that's my second tip of the day. If you're wearing your, keep your casual clothes for the weekend or for after school so you can get into the psychological mode of relaxation and whatever you do, don't wear your pyjamas during school hours because it'll just cause you to become more demotivated and, you know, yeah, demotivated in your studies. So we don't, we don't want that. So keep your PJs only for when you're going to bed. Okay. So tip number three, work from a desi designated room in the house. So if, you, if you're fortunate to live in a house where there is a, is a study, then I would suggest taking all your work and everything school related into that particular study and turn it into your classroom. If you don't have an additional room that you can utilize then and you work from your bedroom, then another tip there would be to make sure that your room is nicely organized, um, your bed is made and everything is in its place before you start the day. Um, 
have that all organized, including your desk. Any form of chaos and um, and um, any form of chaos in your room is going to add to your anxiety and confusion. And we want to keep maintain the stress levels to a low. So in order to make 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 life a lot more co- simpler, is um, just make sure your room is nice and tidy, your bed is made, and everything is in its place. Um, and and same goes when you finish studies for the end of the day. Make sure your desk is packed up and everything's ready to go for the next day. Okay, so tip number four, um, journaling, whatever that looks like, whether you like to write down your thoughts and feelings in a book, in a diary, whether you like to uh, record in a, you know, through a video, a video journaling, or uh, whether it's something that you're recording through so you can play back like on a, um, yes, yeah, so, so you can listen to it. Whatever, whatever medium works best for you, use it. I really urge and encourage you at this particular time in your life to write down how you're feeling and what you're thinking in certain in certain times. So if you're feeling anxious and stressed, start jotting down, um, you know, what happened to, to make you feel stressed and anxious? Um, was it what someone said? Was it a, a deadline? Um, was it something your parents reacted to so we want to create a pattern of seeing where where those stress levels happen for you where those triggers come up and then you can work on seeing if there's any trends in there and then we can work on how to minimize those stress levels over time so journaling your thoughts and feelings are really critical in this period of time and again it's like writing to a friend and no one needs to see the work you, the the journal you write and it's all for your own personal personal experience. And five, the fifth tip, but not the least, is to make sure you stay connected with your friends, your friends and family. So use FaceTime so you can actually see each other interact rather than just on the telephone. Um, it makes a really big difference being able to see people physic- visually on a screen than it is just to listen to them on the phone. Because again, you're picking up um, the body language, the, the tonality, the facial expressions. And this is what makes us human. This is what keeps us connected. This is what keeps us grounded. So I urge you, I urge you as much as possible that if you have, if you normally catch up with friends during before school, during recess and during lunch, then FaceTime them before school starts and have a bit of a chat and a banter um, as you would normally do. Uh, and of course, during recess and lunch as well, um, in between classes, you know, do a bit of a FaceTime with your friends so you can have it. So keep things as normal as possible. So just and the last thing I want to leave you. So they're the five tips. Maintain your routine as much as possible. Wear your school uniform during school hours. Work from a designated room or tidy your bedroom to keep it all spick and span. Um, journal your thoughts and feelings and continue the connection with your friends and family wherever possible. And just remember, what the world is currently going through at the moment is only temporary. It is not fixed. It will not be like this forever, even though maybe at times you will feel like it's forever. Um, it is get, It's easy to get caught up in the hype and the drama and the fear of this being the new normal. It is the new normal for now, but it is hard to say if it will continue in the long term. So again, it's gain focus and control back into what we can control rather than what we can't control. And the more the and by doing this, you will build confidence, courage, and resilience in the meantime. Um, see this as an opportunity, not an obstacle. All right, in getting you to prepare and thrive in tomorrow's world. Okay, we will get through this together stronger, and more empowered than ever before. I'm Paula Dunn from the Limited Edition Leadership Academy. Tune in tomorrow um, for another tips and tricks on how to thrive the social isolation with the coronavirus. And one thing is to go off and be you, have courage, and live life with no limits. See ya. Have an awesome day.